Well, hey there, and welcome back to Leader Byte this week. We are hoping to give you something that you can sink your teeth into, and specifically, I'm looking this week to talk to you about the idea and levels of attachment in the workplace. Something that I think that we can wrap our heads around really quickly is this idea of how do we attach and how did you attach when you first found that sports team that you wanted to cheer for? Uh, I remember back when I moved from Australia cheering for rugby to then having to come here to the US and cheer for the American Football League. Um, how did I develop which team that I was going to cheer for? Well, I remember the first couple of parties I turned up to, I knew the rules, I understood and I had knowledge of the game, and I would do this. I would just turn up and I'd be like, bam, I'm here to enjoy myself. I'm here to enjoy the game, I'm here to enjoy the people that I'm with, and potentially look at how attached they are to the game as well. Uh, and then a couple of months into it, you know, you find that, hey, well, maybe uh, I may even start to uh, have a preference because around my area, everybody seems to be cheering for this one team, and that one team's wearing blue. And so, yeah, this week I'm going to cheer for the blue team, and I'm going to have an actual preference when it comes to cheering for the team that I want to cheer for this week. Uh, and so you, you, you develop this attachment or this preference attachment uh, to the team based on your knowledge and your skills and your abilities to understand the game. Uh, and then a couple of months pass and you say, wow, okay, I've been cheering for this blue team for some time now. Uh, I think that I'm going to move from the idea of enjoying the game. I now have a preference of which team. I'm going to actually move to identifying myself with the blue team, which means you turn up in a blue jersey, screaming rah, 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 and when they lose, you're like, oh, bummer. I've attached enough mental and emotional energy into this that I kind of feel bummed that they lost. And then you probably take the next step, uh, like many fans do across the world cheering for their teams, and they start to do this. They internalize their attachment to their team. So what internalize means in this, in this kind of example is the idea that uh, you've done some research on your team. You know the statistics, you wear it, you paint the blue, uh, but also you know the enemy. And you get really upset and maybe even joyful if the, en enemy, if the enemy excuse me, gets hurt. Uh, and when they lose, when your team, then your blue team loses, not only are you bummed for the day, but it could hurt you for the week. So let me pause and come out at like a 30 foot view and having a look at this level of attachment, uh, the levels here of attachment, how does this apply to projects at work? Okay, are there projects at work when you sit down with your team and you look at it and when you wanna pull somebody out of it, they have this sense of attachment to it. And what does that mean? And what discussions or conversations can you have around that? Uh, when you talk about the people in your team and somebody attacks a person in your team that you're attached with, at whatever level you're attached with with them, um, how do you react as a leader? How do you defend in front of them? You know, there's so many different ways we could go with this. Uh, and as you sit down with your team and you talk about these levels of attachment that they may have with their work, with each other in relationship, uh, we all know that there's this one level that we probably want to avoid and it's this fanatic level. Dun, dun, dun. And unfortunately across the world, we know what a fanatic is. It's a person that would die for the cause and or hurt other people. And I hope you never have to deal with that in the workplace. Uh, in fact, the only thing I think that you're, or I hope that you're fanatical about is leader bite. So when you sit down with your team this week, enjoy the idea of levels of attachment, figure out where you are in your role and your position on certain uh, knowledgeable topics that you talk about. And we hope that that's something that you can chew on. We'll see you next week on leader bite. Cheers. Thank you.